Hello, I'm Maximo Trinidad, Technology Evangelist for Sapiens Technologies, Inc. Welcome to this instructional video. I will be demonstrating executing a console Azure RM script as a job in two different ways in PowerShell Studio. First, let me set up my work environment by detaching the console panel, move it up my screen, and open my sample script. I'm already connected to Azure account so I can run the get Azure RM VM commandlet to check the status of my system VMs. Let me start showing the first way I'm executing a job in the background using the stop Azure RM VM without the as job parameter. I created a job name variable followed by the job script variable holding the script block with the block of code I'm going to execute in the background. At the same time, within the script block, I included the import Azure RM context, which enabled me to automate connecting to my Azure account. The script block will be executed as a job using the start job command. Although it's not necessary, I included a do while loop to trace the status of the running job. So every 10 seconds, it will display a processing string in the console until it's done. When the job completes processing, then it will save the status of both the receive job and the get job commands. Let's run the code in PowerShell Studio PowerShell console. At the end of the job, I can verify that the VM was stopped, then proceed to display the result of both the receive job and the get job commands. Now, looking at the receive job status variable, the receive job didn't store any data, so nothing is displayed. But the get command will always save information about the executed job, such as the command that was executed. You look at the background process begin and end times. The type of jobs will always come up as background. And you can check the state of the job, which now shows completed. This completes the first background job. Now, the second way, I'm executing the job in the background using the stop Azure RM VM with the as job parameter. I'm going to reset the console in order to start fresh. I'm already restarted the VM I'm going to use to execute the stop command. But first, I need to verify my VM is currently running. Now, I'm ready to work with the code for the next background job submission. This time, the script block has more to do as I'm also tracing the status of the Azure command like job and saving the result to display at the end of the background job. Notice I added script block parameters so I can pass value into the code. This value 
will be submitted using the argument list parameter in the start job commandlet. Please note that outside the uh, script block, almost everything else has minor changes, but overall concept remains the same. Let's proceed to execute the code. I just selected the block of code I'm going to execute. Then I right click and select Run Selection in Console. This again gets executed in my active PowerShell console until the job is complete. Now that the code completed execution, I verify again my stop VM will show with the status of the allocated instead of running. At the same time, I can proceed to take a look at my received job and get job safe information from my variables. Notice, this time I'm getting information stored from the receive job commandlet as well as the get job. This is all due to having information being generated within the script block job. All outputs sent to the console are saved in the last receive job commandlet. Keep in mind, if the background job generates some output data, then you can use the receive job commandlet to get information out. Now I'm displaying the information from the last get job commandlet, as this is the one that sent the script block as a job in the background. In this information will include the actual script block code that was executed. As you can see, you can be very creative with script code that can be submitted as jobs within the script block. At the same time, take advantage of the Azure commandlets providing the as job parameter. The get job commandlet will always provide status information about the job executed in the background. The receive job commandlet will provide information only if there are anything that will generate output data. Test your script solution, then you can do the implementation in a GUIN application if needed. For more information, feel free to go online and visit our Saving Technologies products, information center, and blog pages. Thank you very much.